So I came across this pearl of an article the other day, and it's from my own backyard, so I thought I'd talk about it. The wonderful people at the government-funded ABC News say, Queensland University of Technology defends removing merit from hiring policy. Removing merit from hiring policy? This can't be what it seems, because that would be retarded. You m m m m m m m like me. M m m m Let's have a closer look. So this lady is Margaret Scheel. She's the Vice Chancellor at Queensland University of Technology and she recently did an interview with ABC Radio. It's summarised in this article. Queensland University of Technology's Vice Chancellor has defended the decision to remove all reference to merit from its hiring policy. Staff were told about the move via an internal email which informed them that they would be moving away from the merit principle towards a more inclusive suitability assessment. Vice Chancellor Margaret Scheel told ABC Radio Brisbane the suitability assessment would consider Consider factors such as gender and ethnic backgrounds. <laughs> oh, didn't South Park recently do an episode about this? I keep seeing all of you being replaced by little white motherfuckers. I mean, they're gonna remove merit from their hiring policy and replace it with skin colour and vagina or no vagina. A university, seriously. <laughs> The article goes on, Professor Scheel said it would also consider the current demographic breakdown of their various schools and disciplines. She said women, for example, were underrepresented in science and engineering at QUT, whereas men were underrepresented in teaching and nursing. Oh, you don't say. You see, men tend to prefer to deal with things. We like to manipulate things and fix things. That's why a higher proportion of blokes are scientists and engineers. And chicks typically prefer to work with people. You know, professions like nursing and teaching. But it's not good enough for professionals Professor Scheel. She's got to have absolute parity. We need the same amount of vaginas and penises. And the average melanin count has to produce a shade that's like spot on halfway through the spectrum. Nothing less will be good enough. I mean, you can't just leave it to personal choice and abilities. It has to be a perfect equity utopia. She dismissed suggestions that the hiring process should be colorblind, saying that that was impossible in practice. When people say things like, we do this on merit, they're actually reflecting the bias in their own experience, Professor Scheel said. There's so much data on this around selection, whether it's recruitment into orchestras or into universities, there isn't a way of being colorblind that's not got some form of bias into it. Okay, that didn't make grammatical sense. But what a load of nonsense. The way you be colorblind when recruiting into an orchestra is to use your ears. Who can play the violin better? You get the violin part. Who can teach university students better in this subject? Go with them. But no, that just won't do. It's got to be at least 50% chicks and 50% colored people. Also, if you like colored, trans, dis disabled and retarded, you're a fucking shoe in no need for an interview. Remove merit, what a crock of shit. She said staff undertook unconscious bias training and that the selection committees were chosen with diversity in mind. She said they would aim to hire a diversity of personalities, such as recruiting more outgoing scientists who were good at industry engagement. Okay, that one's fair enough, that's kind of like a PR thing. You want some of your scientists to be personable and likeable, but to throw merit to the wayside is ridiculous. We don't want everybody to look the same. Good God. What does that have to do with anything? It's a university. It's where people go to learn. Who gives a fuck if everyone looks the same? The people who are the most talented and the most enthusiastic should be there. And that goes for staff, faculty and students. Professor Shield denied the policy was a political decision, insisting it was a practical move to improve the university's talent pool. We need to access the entire talent pool and we don't want everybody to look the same, she said. Well, those things don't work together, lady. If you want to access the entire talent pool, you open up your selection pool entirely and choose the most talented. Duh. And we don't want everyone to look the same. Do you have a policy against hiring identical twins? We need the workplace to reflect the students coming through. And we also know people look at things differently when they come from different backgrounds. I've been working in improving diversity in academic environments my entire career. It's got nothing to do with contemporary politics. Professor Scheel said she was the first female professor of chemistry in Australia and has subsequently spent her life trying to get more women into science. Um, what why don't you spend your life trying to do the best chemistry, lady? No one cares whether your chemistry came from a vagina. No one cares if black people did all the chemistrying. We just want good chemistry. So you hire based on merit. QUT claims the suitability assessment is based on the Queensland Public Service Commission's hiring strategy. The ABC attempted to reach the QUT Liberal National Club and young LNP for comment. You see, they're the right-wingers. They're the conservatives. So the ABC, a majorly left-leaning government organisation, has reached out to the conservatives 
conservatives for some rage bait. They obviously haven't got a reply yet, but if they did, it'd be something like, well, that's retarded. This is retarded. Why are you doing this retarded thing? And that makes sense, because this is retarded. It's here. It's now. And whether you see the risks or seize the opportunity depends on your decision. Oh, it also depends on your genitals and skin colour. We left that bit out. To be ready. Ready for the real world. You went full retard, man. Anyway, I'll leave it there. If you have any comments, leave them down below or at my Twitter account, bear underscore ing. I'm also on Locals, Rumble, BitChute, all that stuff. I'll catch you next time. Ta-ta. Recession, recession.